This video was sponsored by HiveMQ. Use the link in the description to learn about their open positions and let's get into the video. Hey, welcome back to the channel. And my name is Zach and this is 4.0 Solutions where we help you with all things IIoT, digital transformation and industry 4.0. We're helping manufacturers do more with less. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure to like and subscribe to catch more industry 4.0 content. Let's get into the video. Today, we're not just talking about four ways to make money with industry 4.0. We're actually talking about five ways because we've got a bonus way to make money with 4.0 down here. The very first and most simple way Mom, that- five dots. I know, I said- <laughs> You said four, not five. I know, but I said four ways to make money with 4.0 plus a bonus. So make sure to stick around to the end of this video to catch that. That's actually the most profitable and most interesting way to make money with 4.0. But as you can see, the main four ways are IoT platform developer. Uh, this is commonly known as a system integrator. You've also got a consultant, uh, architect. Uh, you've got working for the manufacturing end user. And then you've also got uh, taking a dive uh, working with an IoT startup. So we're also gonna be talking about the skills you need to do each one of these roles, what the title and position is gonna be at each one of those roles, as well as what the expected salary is. So I hope this video is helpful. If it is, make sure to like this video and stick around to the end. So the first one here we got I IoT platform developer, okay? So um, the main two platforms that come to mind are Ignition and frameworks. So frameworks is made by Tatsoft, Ignition is made by Inductive Automation. Those are two IIoT platforms. Now remember, the definition of an IIoT platform is it's a platform for solving problems and it's often the home of your unified namespace. The reason why we like Ignition and the reason why we like frameworks is that they support our minimum technical requirements. It's actually a requirement to be in our IIoT ecosystem, but that's open architecture, lightweight, edge-driven, report by exception. Uh, we talked about that in last week's video, what those actual definitions are. So um, when, when you're gonna be in this role, what you're gonna often be doing is a lot of UI, UX development. Think of it like building screens, uh, building user interfaces, uh, input forms, you know, taking a spreadsheet that someone was collecting data in, turning that into a digital form, digitizing it. Um, you're also gonna be doing some development and some scripting creating microservices, integrating new tags in the unified namespace. So let's get into the pay um, of what you're gonna do. Actually, real quick, you can really learn how to do Ignition for free on Inductive University, and you can learn how to do frameworks on uh, the new frameworks training that they just recently launched on Tatsoft's website. I'll put links down below for both of those trainings. It's pretty amazing that you can just go through a free training like that and right away be making and right off the bat, uh, what you can expect to make is anywhere from $25 per hour um, if you're you know, remote and maybe doing this on a platform like Upwork as a, as a freelancer and maybe you don't have that much skill, or, you know, maybe just doing screen development all the way up to like $75 an hour uh, if you're doing a little bit more advanced integration. You could make more than that, could make less, uh, but I wouldn't, make any, I wouldn't make less than $25 an hour especially in today's world, minimum wage is like 15 bucks an hour. So these are very valuable skills. Uh, but again, you can learn this in as little as a month in Inductive University. You can also join our mentorship program where we teach you how to do these things, but more on that later. Let's go over to uh, consultant because this one's actually pretty interesting. So if you are a consultant, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be doing digital transformation maturity assessments. Um, and you're gonna be a solutions architect. So you're gonna be helping manufacturers architect their IIoT platform. You're gonna be helping them architect solutions. The biggest struggle that manufacturers run into when they're trying to digitally transform is, you know, they go to a Rockwell or they go to an Emerson, they get sold a bill of goods. That doesn't really interoperate with anything. It, they just wanna sell you more products at every layer in their stack. Being a solutions architect, it's really important that you're agnostic because you're building the foundation of which a manufacturer is going to leverage to digitally transform, to be an industry 4.0 company, to be a Tesla, to be a data and information and a software company. So it's really an important role. As you can imagine, that means the pay is gonna be pretty high. Expect to make anywhere from $100 an hour to over $1,000 an hour. I've seen this myself. Manufacturers are happy to pay it because you can't put a price tag on the correct architecture because if you have the incorrect architecture, expect to fail. If you have the correct architecture, expect to scale. <laughs> oh, that rhymed. Okay, so um, we actually talk about these. Uh, this we often refer to as a DTMA. So if you've heard that, uh, 
That's what a DTMA is. It's a digital transformation maturity assessment and where you rank clients on a 3.0 to 4.0 scale. You build them a roadmap. You put them on the right architecture. Right? You build out the architecture. Uh, we actually teach people how to do this in Mastermind. I have actually done a couple myself. Uh, many of you guys know I used to work with Walker Reynolds like uh, almost a decade ago. So I've been in the industry for a long time, but I can't underestimate, understate how valuable a solutions architect is, how much money you can make, and how valuable that, that skill is for manufacturing clients. And that's why we are teaching how to do digital transformation maturity assessments, as well as how to become a solutions architect in our mastermind program. Again, we'll links below for that and more on that later. So let's move over to working for the end user. Okay, so working for the end user, right? You're gonna be an employee for a manufacturer, okay? Now it's important to note that whether you're gonna be working for an industry 4.0 company like Tesla or Rivian or Amazon, or you're gonna be working for like a 3.0 company that's trying to become a 4.0 company like a Ford or a GM, right? They're in the process of transforming. They're somewhere between 3.0 and 4.0. Really, it's up to you whether or not you just wanna go work for the best of the best or you wanna work for a company and help them become one of the best. That's what we do, that's what we love doing. We, our, our mission is to help save and create middle class jobs and we do that by helping manufacturers, specifically in the United States, become competitive by leveraging technology to do more with less. It's not about outsourcing, it's not about cutting costs, it's about industry 4.0 solutions, leveraging data and information to make informed decisions, creating a digital ecosystem and having a digital strategy. If you watch any of our videos, I can guarantee that you would be an awesome employee for a manufacturer. Now remember, Walker said before, the middle 40 work for manufacturer, what does that mean? So if you have a scale here, Right? This is a scale of zero to 100% as far as like skill level and aptitude. The bottom 30% get fired, right? The top 30% uh, move on to a different job, often to become a solutions architect or an integrator or work for a startup. And the manufacturer is left with the middle 40. Now that's not to say, now that's not to say if you work for a manufacturer, you're in a middle 40, but if you retire at a manufacturer, you work there your whole life, you can pretty much guarantee that you're a middle 40. These are the type of people that don't like to rock the boat too much. These are the innovators. Now there is an exception. If you do go work for an industry 4.0 company like Tesla or Amazon, you're gonna be in the top, this is who they hire, right? The 4.0 companies, they're able to attract and uh, they're able to hire, you know, attract, hire and retain this top 30, right? that's really hard to do with legacy manufacturers, right? These are Gen Z and millennials that were born with iPads in their hands and they go into a manufacturing plant and they realize this, this, this manufacturer has no idea what they're doing. All these data and informations are stuck away in legacy systems. They're having to do analysis in Excel. They're, they don't know why they can't just look at uh, their phone to understand what's going on with their operations, right? <laughs> we were doing a DTMA for a client and they said literally, our employees aren't allowed to look at YouTube on the plant floor, and they thought that that was a good thing. Um, you know, YouTube is the first place that you go to to solve your own problem. That's probably why you guys are on this video here. You're looking to make more money in Industry 4.0. You're looking to monetize the skill set you already have. This is one of the ways to do it. So again, you can start your career in the middle 40. You can become a top 30, especially the people in this community. If you join our Discord server, we've got a lot of the people in the top 30 in there, some really, really smart people. So don't be afraid to work for a manufacturer, especially if it's one that's becoming a 4.0 manufacturer, then you're gonna be in the top 40, right? Uh, you're gonna be in engineering, uh, you're gonna be doing some engineering, you're gonna be doing some integration, uh, you're gonna be doing operations. More and more companies are hiring this in-house because they realize that to hire consultants all the time is very expensive and that they're gonna be doing agile development. Here's agile. Right, continuous improvement, continuous development on top of your IoT platform. So they need these people full time. People in this community, there's a big shortage of manufacturing jobs. Go work for a manufacturer and you can expect to make anywhere from 75K per year all the way up to 150K per year. Uh, could be make a little bit more than that if you're like a CTO, but this is a pretty, pretty good salary to expect 
could get some stock options bonuses. Uh, you know, Tesla might pay a little bit more than that for like their chief engineers, but you know, this is a, a reasonable salary to expect to start out at and cap out at. Moving on to working at an IoT startup. Okay, so an IoT startup, what is that? Okay, so think of, uh, think of platforms that we mention all the time. Think of like uh, HiveMQ, they are an IoT startup, right? Uh, HiveMQ is a MQTT broker and they're a startup, right? They're well-funded with venture capital. You've got people that are founders. You've got people that are early startup employees. You know, as they get bigger and bigger, then that that's, gets better and better. But you know, some of the early employees, especially if you can get uh, stock options, you can expect to make a lot of money in your career. Um, you, know, you can expect to wear all hats, especially those early employees, but expect to build something like really awesome, right? Now, every, every startup has their own culture, but you know, when we, 4.0, were a startup, and we still are a startup, you know, we're wearing all hats. We're working a lot of hours, right? No one works more hours than someone that's working at a startup, right? You don't go to a startup to punch a clock, right? You go to a startup to change the world. Um, and the good news is that while maybe on the bottom end, you might make a little bit less, especially if, uh, you know, they're just starting out very capital resourceful. Some of the, uh, even some of the founders may pay themselves a salary as low as $50,000 a year, just enough to live on and get by because all of their upside is in the valuation, right? And the valuation's you know, going to anywhere to $1 billion, right? We've got a lot of acquisitions happening in the IoT space and we can expect to see a lot of unicorns, you know, maybe funding as low as 10 million, getting valuation all up to a billion, that's a 100X return. You could also be an investor, but that's not really what we're gonna talk about in this video. But um, you know, on the higher end, you can expect to make up to 250K a year, right? I know that Highbyte uh, just came out a few years ago. They got about a couple dozen employees. Like right now, they just moved offices. They're hiring a VP of sales, and the starting salary for that is 200K. So even though they're a small company, you can make some pretty good bank at a startup. I want to pull up on the screen here some of the open positions at HiveMQ. They got some really cool positions uh, available at HiveMQ. So if you guys are interested, uh, apply to HiveMQ. Thank you for, again, for HiveMQ, for sponsoring this video. You know, I'm not saying apply to HiveMQ because they're sponsoring this video. I'm saying apply to HiveMQ because they've got a really good outlook. They seem to got a really good team going. They got a great product. So if you're looking for a job, consider uh, applying to HiveMQ. All right. And now the moment we've all been waiting for, the bonus section. All right, so the fifth way to make money in Industry 4.0 is as a content creator. So as a content creator, what you're going to be doing is you're gonna be creating content, mainly video, uh, potentially even uh, virtual reality content, obviously photos and, and and written content is also a medium, but the most uh, successful content creators right now are creating video content, uh, specifically platforms like LinkedIn, YouTube, and TikTok. I know Walker has said many times he doesn't like TikTok, but the market doesn't really care about what you like. The market cares about what's popular, and attention is the new currency, and there's a lot of manufacturers that need that attention, right? They need marketers. Companies like HiveMQ, that's why they're sponsoring 4.0 solutions, because we're content creators. We have a built-in audience. Uh, this is one of the ways we monetize this audience. Now the sponsorship money goes back into content creation to, to grow more, but you know, as a digital media strategist, as a content production, you can expect to make anywhere from 50K starting out to all the way over to a million dollars per year. I know that sounds crazy, but it's really not when you consider that content creation itself is very much like Industry 4.0 where these platforms like LinkedIn and YouTube are using data and information in the algorithm to make decisions about what content to show to what people. So if you can capture someone's attention, if you can provide value, you can grow an audience, right? And you can monetize that audience at scale. Uh, one of the ways to do that is through YouTube AdSense, or you can also do that through sponsorships, partnerships, affiliate marketing. You could do that through just hey, I wanna go work for HiveMQ and become one of their demand generation specialists. That's one of the positions that they're hiring for. And last but not least, online courses and, and training. That's one of the major ways 4.0 Solutions makes money is through our online mastermind and our online mentorship program. Our mentorship program is really for engineers that are starting out, really wanting to be 
IoT developers. And then our mastermind program is more for the architect, the advanced system integrator. You've been doing this a long time. You want to go to that next level. You want to learn how to do digital transformation, maturity assessments, and charge anywhere from $100 plus to $1,000 per hour. Take a look at the link below. Again, I learned how to do DTMAs through our mastermind program. We got a lot of great feedback. Many people that said that they joined the mastermind earlier this year, they say now, hey, I'm making more money than I've ever made before. So again, I hope this video was helpful. Remember, use your mission and value to drive your decisions. Don't just be motivated by money, or if you are only motivated by money, make sure you're transparent and clear about that. Don't try to deceive people because it's going to come back to bite you in the ass, especially in the world that we live in today where everyone is connected. Your reputation is really your most valuable asset and your personal brand. So make sure you're out there, you're building it. Whether you're becoming an IoT developer, you're going to need to market yourself, or you want to go work for a manufacturer, you need to really build out your LinkedIn. Show that you know what you're talking about. You want to be a content creator, make a million dollars plus per year, uh, reach out to us, uh, 4.0 Solutions. We are always growing and we're looking for top talent to grow our company and also join our mastermind or mentorship program link down below. Thanks again, HiveMQ for sponsoring this video and we'll see you guys in the next video.